May. Hang on, Jane. Jane. Jane, hang on. There's a fire or something. No, it's not. It's the police. It's not a fire truck. It's oh, it's the police. police. Oh, wow. They're right there. The f Crisis. I know they'll be at the wedding. I know they're not going to miss that. You got a bigger situation. Quit lying to yourself, June. Where are we going? Y'all are going to love it. Have you got a girlfriend? That's why you're sitting on each other like that. <laughs> if I don't have my girls, then I don't have anything. A sit down conversation needs to happen. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to stop it. Oh, it's the police. They're right there. The f Congratulations. You are very familiar with Dodo over here. Yes, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm really glad that Sheriff Brunson and his wife was here because we go way back. He was there when I got locked up for drugs in 2019. Honestly, he's one of those sheriffs that really care about the people, no matter who you are, that you deserve a second chance. I mean, he showed up at every court date and made sure, like, I was good every court date. And on the day that I decided to walk away from Gino, he was there to make sure that I felt safe. I just think we're just too toxic for each other. That was a huge relief for me that I knew nothing was going to happen. He did piss me off that one time when he thought it was a good idea to team up with Gino and throw my ass in jail to scare me straight. I need one phone call! I mean, looking back, I did need a reality check. And now, you know, he's helped Justin with his probation so Justin can move forward with his life. I want to tell you that I'm very proud of you. I'm glad you've kept everything in order and uh, you got your life together. You right. got a good man. Right. And uh, just good to see you happy. And I know you're doing right over there in your new neighborhood in Tuskegee because <laughs> I hadn't had a bad call at all. Right. And, and you know I ride by all the time and check on you, right. too. Right. I do appreciate, like, what you've done, like, you know, and, like, still still being a part of the transformation. Because you didn't have to stick your neck out for me, neither. Right. Right, you know? right. It, but I'm but glad you know, you I, I saw something good in you, too. You know, everybody has problems. You know, I'm glad y'all got those problems behind you. Right. It's not up to me to judge. Right. You know, I, I definitely don't feel that way. And I love seeing success stories. Right. And, and y'all love success stories. I never thought I would have had a share for a friend, did you? <laughs> uh, but I want to thank you and Courtney for being you. here. Thank like I said, coming, coming here, you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. We have a wedding coming up, you know, and if y'all can make no, it, that we'll would be, be amazing. There. And if we'll be there. You know, I think it's really cool that, you know, the sheriff brought us presents in, instead of handcuffs. Well, I know. A few years ago, if he would have came in the door, I would have been out the back door. So. I would have been right there with you. <laughs> So, I mean, but it's kind of crazy how our lives have changed. Yeah. Make sure you take care of them, okay? Yes, sir. I'm All right. You take care. <laughs> Are you going to come after uh, me? I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you very much.